Hey guys, Clawbox here. So, welcome to another video. In this video will show you how to cheat at Space Run. It will essentially show you how to get infinite cogs in the engineering ship, in the engineering section, and during missions as well. So you can just place whatever you want right at the start. Now, apart from Space Run, you are going to need a program called Cheat Engine, which is right here on the right side of the screen. Cheating isn't a perfectly legit program, it just depends on how you use it. It is a memory scanner, hex editor and debugger program. You can also do a bunch of other stuff as well. But you will not get in trouble for having this on your computer. Just uh, you know, stick to using it for single player games only, okay? Now, back to Space Run. So, first off, I made a new profile so I could show you this because I had already gotten everything on my other one. So I'm just back out here quickly. Just gonna click play. I'll show you how to get infinite SC. Don't ask me what that is, it's just the in-game currency. So you go to the engineering section. You've got to do the first mission first, so you actually have some. If you don't have any, then you can't use it. Right. So we've got one for 500 here, one for 500 here, the basic stuff you can buy at the beginning. We've got 1,500 at the top, so go back to Cheat Engine, and, whoops, not that one. These are the settings you want, yeah? Just just copy that, put it in. Exact value, 4 bytes, done. Right, in here, type in 1,500, because that's how much you should have. Scan. Back into the game. Buy something. Now we have 1,000. Go back to Cheat Engine. Type in the new value. There it is. Boom. Change it to whatever you want. Um, and let's see what's going on here. 99999. Right. It's changed, but you won't see it until you buy something. So just buy something else. Boom. There we go. Now you've got that much. Ironically, that's not actually enough to buy everything in the game. But still, you've got to, you've got to unlock those. Now, as for stars, I'm not going to show you how to do that because. I can't be bothered to figure it out. I can't be bothered to figure it out myself personally. So let's say you get infinite engineering money. Now, um, back. Now we'll do a mission, and I'll show you how to. Uh, let me just erase this quickly and clean this, so it's not there anymore. Now we're going to do a mission. So this is the second mission you can do. Stellar Road. You can You can do this in any mission, by the way. It doesn't matter which one you do. I'm just going to choose this for the sake of it. Going in here, we'll place down our stuff. Um, one, one, here and here. Yeah, that'll do. I don't want to fail the mission. <laughs> right, so you let this, you let this go through like so. And the moment you can see the money, boom, pause. The moment you can see the stuff at the bottom, down here, that's when you pause it. Tab out to Sheet Engine. You need to change this value type to float. It will not detect it on four bytes or anything else. So I'm going to float. Now you see it. If you if you got it on full screen, you just have to memorize. But down the bottom left here, I can see that it says 101. So we'll do that. 101. Right. Tab back in. Press escape again to unpause. Now press escape again quickly as soon as the number changes because you get one per second, I believe. Now I'll go back to sheet engine. Type in the new value, Ooh, there it is. Change this to 9999 because that is the max you can have. Don't try to put more than that. I don't know what happened, but you may very well crash. And now we have 9999. Simple as. Consider it done. Can't do that. I hope you fly better than this and Your wish is my command. Excellent choice. Ready for action. Can't have too many shields. Simple, eh? And that is how you do that. No, fuck it, let's, let me just give you another example. Because this is fine, don't worry, that'll just go, I can just complete the level like so. Let me get back out here. Let me go onto my other account. And choose a level I haven't done yet. I haven't actually played the game yet. Let me just skip through this because I've heard that already. 
Now I don't know how to do this level, so don't judge me. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's not so bad, actually. It's not so bad. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I place that like so, I will be able to fit a... Oh, wait, yes I will, okay. Cool. Okay, same process. Let it load through. As soon as you see the numbers at the bottom, press escape. There we are. 350. Tab out. Go here. First scan. Back into game. 351. Tab back out. There we go. Let's do that. Right. You, you can clear this after you've changed the number and confirmed it. Right, there we go. this level and um, this recording so hope you enjoy very simple very easy to cheat at these kind of games job well done and if you need any help which you probably shouldn't do because it's very self-explanatory just so you know you don't need to keep cheat engine open after you've uh, changed the uh, the figures after you've changed it to 9999 you can just you can just go ahead and close the engine and then play the game as, as you see fit. And done. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you later.